The feature match in round 14 of the All Flag State Premier League saw improving Florida Fina take on struggling and bottom of the league Coburn City. Coburn have yet to win on the road and have only won once all season, so the odds were on a Floriot victory. Although new Coburn coach Mick Lyons was keen to beat the odds. Florida opened the scoring in the 21st minute, and mix up saw Coburn cough up cheap possession to Liam Boland, who couldn't believe his luck, ran into the box and hammered the ball through the legs of Alex Pearson and into the back of the net. A dreadful defensive mix-up to give the informed Boland possession, and with time and space he hits the target, although Pearson will be disappointed he didn't keep the ball out. Four minutes later and Floriot were 2-0 up. James Isaiah tried to pick out Liam Boland with a lob into the box. Pearson came off his line well and punched, but only as far as Vujicic, who wasn't closed down, and coolly picked his spot out of the reach of the despairing dive of Pearson. Johnny Mirko fails to close down Vujicic, who then has time to arrow his shot into Pearson's bottom right-hand corner. On the half-hour, Boland had his second and Floriot their third. Callum O'Connell clipping a ball over the static Coburn defence, Boland found himself one-on-one -on -one with Pearson and coolly lifted the ball over the keeper and into the back of the net. Coburn's defence stopped and appealed for offside, but Boland appeared to have timed his run to perfection. He stayed calm and coolly lifted the ball over Pearson and into the empty net. Floriot continued to dominate in the second half, but in the 76th minute Coburn found a goal of their own. Mark Anthony fed John DeVete wide on the left. He left Paul Van Dongen and two other Floriot defenders in his wake before passing to Jason Godfrey. Dunn blocked his effort, but Rory Feely was on hand to hammer the ball home. A wonderful run by John DeVete who shimmied his way through Floriot's defence as if they were training cones. Dunn blocks Godfrey's effort, but the ball rolls to the feet of Feely, who doesn't miss from six yards. Floriot's response was almost immediate. A throw into Sikora saw the ball come back to Mark Pritchard, who looked up, spotted the run of Isaiah, and delivered a pinpoint cross that he nodded past Pearson for Floriot's fourth. Whether it was worthy of the plank, we'll leave that up to you. Pritchard's ball into the box is perfect, but Pearson hesitating rather than attacking the ball made Isaiah's task easier. With three minutes to go, both teams appeared to be going through the motions. A clearance fell to Aaron Dos Santos, who curled a ball into the box. Dunn dropped it, and Feely fired home on the volley for a second consolation goal for Coburn. Dunn will not enjoy watching the replay. Not under any extreme pressure, he drops a tame cross and Feely shows his class hammering the ball home on the volley before he can regather. Floriot had one last flurry to try and restore their three goal advantage, but the final whistle brought proceedings to a close and Coburn find themselves seven points adrift at the bottom of the table with half the season left. Mm -hmm.